I, I like people who express their opinions, so just <laughs> keep talking as much as you want. I just won't listen. <laughs> uh, no, no, okay, so, uh, so uh, I'm, I'm the faculty member, as I got introduced uh, earlier. Uh, but I, I did want to kind of express my thanks for your participation tonight. Super important that uh, you've come out and enjoyed Bright Club, which is really an experiment in itself taking graduate students, undergraduates, postdocs, faculty members, and getting them to try and think about their research in a comedic way. And originally I was scheduled to, to be in this show uh, as, as the lone faculty member who actually volunteered uh, to, to do this for chemistry, uh, foolishly. Uh, but I, I turned down my slot so that uh, some more important people could, could uh, talk about their research. Uh, but I did want to, to give you a glimpse in terms of what my set was going to be like. Because what I did is I said, well, I'm going to be the faculty representative of chemistry. I'm going to, I'm going to try and, and show you how diverse our, our uh, jokes can be. And so I asked all of my colleagues, please give me your jokes. One joke each person, uh, send them through. And I had, uh, out of the, you know, between 40 and 50 faculty members, two, two jokes that were submitted by the, by the academic deadline. Uh, and uh, 10 jokes submitted late were uh, excluded from the competition. Um, I actually had uh, Leslie Yellowlees, who's the head of the College of Science and Engineering, sent, uh, got her secretary to send me an email asking for an extension. <laughs> these two jokes. Okay, first joke is uh, by Professor Colin Pullen, who works in crystallography. Yeah, <laughs> wait till you hear the joke. <laughs> so uh, his his joke was seven pages long. Okay. It would have taken the entirety of the night. You would have thought it was shit. <laughs> and, and, uh, uh, it had 31 footnotes, uh, no abstract or presses that I could understand it, so I flipped to the end, and the punchline was something about a snowman and an eagle. It didn't even make sense at all. Rubbish joke. I'm not repeating it for you tonight. The second joke that was submitted on time was by uh, Dr. Michael Cowley, and it's important because his name is Mike, if I talk to him, but it's Michael Cowley because he doesn't like Mike Cowley as a name, but after you hear this joke, his name is clearly going to be Mike Hilarious. <laughs> the, the, joke, the joke is this, okay? And this is as, as sent to me in an email. What is orange and sounds like a carrot? A parrot. <laughs> okay, now I was confused. <laughs> I was confused at first because it would make sense if it was, you know, what is orange and sounds like a parrot, a carrot, right? Because carrots are orange, and the word carrot sounds like a carrot, right? But I knew that Mike is not, is not a dumb guy. He's brilliant, right? So he, he must have something. So I, I did some research, and I realized that 40% uh, of parrots have some orange plumage. One percent of parrots have a predominantly orange plumage, so there must have been something there. And then I realized that there was the uh, Southeast African uh, bald parrot, and uh, it has a very unique call, right? And its call is a carrot, a carrot, a carrot. But that, that can't be right because that parrot is brown. <laughs> Uh, unfortunately, Mike did not include an experimental section in his joke, so I don't in, in fact know what he means at all. You'll have to ask him at a later date and time. Um, but the key is this, is that Bright Club is awesome. Uh, I did Bright Club a year ago. I'm super happy that uh, our Bright Clubbers participated today, and I'm super happy that you put up with, like, freaking hours of shit chemistry jokes. Oh, Thanks, lady in pink. <laughs> uh, but I, I want to end. I want to end with some thank yous. Uh, I want to end with a thank you to Dan, who's sort of the king of of Bright Club uh, in terms of Edinburgh. So Dan is awesome. He makes this thing run. Uh, I want to thank uh, Jojo Sutherland, who was our our compare tonight. Hey. <laughs> Thank our, our tech staff 
and our bar staff who Woo. actually like kept churning out the drinks to keep you guys drunk and happy. That's fantastic. <laughs> uh, and, and finally, I want to thank our, our performers who gave their time to, to keep you guys happy and keep you guys entertained. So Alistair, Alex, Richard, Karen, Sasha, Ann, and Nathan, thank you guys. Thank you guys, and good night. Thank you so much for coming along. Break Club is, is it every month? Is it yeah. every month? Yeah, it's every month. So I know you may be happened upon a night that you weren't expecting, <laughs> but the stand is open seven nights a week, so come back some other night uh, and enjoy I do a club on uh, next Tuesday. Uh, third June, Georgia Southern's G-Spot. Yeah, no more information required. <laughs> uh, uh, you don't want to know. Uh, no, you have been absolutely fabulous. Please come back. This is, I genuinely think it's a fucking brilliant idea. And uh, and I think it's very, it's funny, it's great, superb. Uh, so please come back and visit us one more time. Uh, two more times, two more times. Just fucking come back, come back, we'll get this. It's Wednesday tomorrow, let's get fucking hammered. Be fucking good. Uh, you have been lovely, I've been Georgia Southern. Take care, good night.